Hello, this is just a quick little demo to show how um, GL Basic is running now on the iPhone. Um, this is my Mac environment that you're seeing here. This is actually um, Windows running under parallel. Uh, here is my little uh, program. So this is to use all the iTouch features of the Mac. So just to show you how to compile this, okay, the project is already set as iPhone. Okay, and I'm just going to compile it. Okay, multi-platform. iPhone's already selected and compile it. So a few warnings there about unassigned variables. But here we go. This is the important part. It says here that it's been created and now it's stored. And now I just need to compile that in Xcode. So I'm just going to move across to my Mac environment. Here we go. I already had the file open in Xcode and it's just telling me it's been modified. So I'll just tell it to open. That's not a problem. Okay, and there might be a few errors to begin with if we compile it. The first thing you need to do is to change your license key here in the uh, iPhone info plist. And if you change that to your actual uh, registered Apple dev account. So here's mine. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what you may also find is also in the Xcode uh, folder is that this iPhone prefix.pch file is missing. Uh, so you'll get a, a compiler error. So if I was trying to compile that now, okay, save all, I get some errors. So I just look at my errors a second. Okay, it's saying that that file doesn't exist. That's easy to fix. All you need to do is say copy this little item here. So copy, paste, and I'll just rename that. So I'm going to get info. And I'm going to rename it to the missing file, which is iPhone underscore prefix dot pch, and change the attachment type. There we go. So that's now done. The problem is, if I compile that now, I'll still get an error. And it's because this file actually includes some text. So all I have to do is go and edit it. Oops, sorry, what am I doing? If I click on that's in there it is. It's got some text. So if I just delete that text and try and build it, save all. Okay, code signed, it's building and now it's installing on my iPod. Notice up here that I've got device release. You can have device debug, but you cannot have device simulator. Okay, then that's building away. Okay, and now what you can't see is that it's just put it onto my um, attached iPod. And what I'll do is I'll make a separate video showing that as well. Okay. Okay, so this is now uh, me rerunning that compiler just to show you what actually happens on the uh, the iPhone here. Okay, so I'm just going to build it again by clicking on the compile button. It'll go down to here and it'll start saying it's installing the app. Okay, and I'll just focus down on here. There we go. So it takes a little while. You get a black screen to begin with. And then it'll start to do some of its magic. Okay, and there we are. This is the, uh, the GL Basic application running. So I'll just bring it over here to show you what it actually does. Okay, so all I've done is I've used some of the, the touch functions so um, you can see here just in the little corner here 
showing how that works. And now if I use two fingers, I can rotate, I can zoom, and I can position with these two fingers. Okay, so that's all done in GL Basic. Uh, this is uh, the release candidate two, 2 that's made this. And uh, all I can say is well done.